Hello and welcome everybody, my name is the IT Guy and in this video we'll be set up, setting up a basic virtual machine on Microsoft Azure. So I already did a video on how to do it on the Google Cloud Platform, but now we're going to look at Microsoft Azure. So this will be your start menu over here and you'll see that there are lots of options over here. So there's, they're asking to deploy a virtual machine. They say you can create a web app or containers or whatever. We are going over to this little menu over here and we'll go to create a resource to start with. So first of all, you'll see that you can choose the operating system. And for this demo, I'm going to be setting up a Ubuntu server 18.04 long-term support. So we're going to select this. And the subscription will be the free trial. If you did not know this, uh, if you want to just uh, mess around a little bit with Microsoft Azure or with any other cloud platform, uh, they all have free tiers, which means that you can play around and you get free credits uh, to play around with a little bit. And this will give you the option to get to know the platform a little bit without spending any money on them. You just have to provide credit card information so that they know that you're not a robot. That's all you need to do. So this is the first uh, menu you'll see. You'll see that you'll have to select a resource group, but it's not available, so you'll have to create one. I and mean, it's actually pretty easy. You just click Create New. This little uh, box pops up, and we'll just name this Azure Demo. And of course, if you are actually deploying this in a real-life scenario, you wouldn't just name this Azure Demo. You would actually name this the project that you're using. But for this, uh, for this demo, I'll just call it Azure Demo. And hit OK. Now we'll just name the virtual machine. Uh, so let's just name this Azure Demo D M Azure Demo VM. And the region, of course, you'll take the one that's most close to you. For me, that's Europe, West Europe. And the image will be this one over here. You can change that, but I think that uh, the default one will be good. You can choose between different uh, operating systems over here. We're just going to choose this one. You can change the size over here as well. So we can click change size. And this one is a little bit overkill for us. And we don't want to spend all of our credits all at once. So let's just say um, one vCPU and two gigs of memory will actually be more than enough. So I'll pick the B1MS. So we'll go ahead and click uh, select. And that's a lot less, as you can see, that's about 15 uh, euros per month. And right over here, you can select uh, the authentication type can be an SSH key. And if you do not know how to set an SSH key, I'll link a video on the right hand corner of this video over here. So let's uh, quickly get our SSH key over here. So we'll do that by right clicking the start menu, going over to PowerShell and then typing in SSH dash keygen. It's the same command in Linux. If you're working on a Linux computer, the SSH keygen is pretty much uh, available. So the SSH keygen command nowadays works on pretty much any operating system, but uh, you'll have to do that first. And in Linux, the folder structure, so the directory structure will be a little bit different, but normally if you're a little bit uh, familiar with Linux, you'll know where it is. So we'll do the SSH keygen generating a pair, enter the file where you want to save the key. If we just leave this blank, it will save it to id underscore rsa.pub, and we want to do that. It's going to ask us if it already, if, uh, if we want to override it because it already exists, we'll do why. Uh, if you didn't create an SSH key gen, if you didn't create an SSH key, then it will not ask this, okay? So this is just when you already created one in the past, it will ask you if you want to override it. But normally people who create their first uh, SSH key will not get this question. Um, enter the passphrase. You can protect your, you can password protect the uh, SSH um, keys if you want to. We're not gonna do that. Okay, so now we created one. Now let's uh, do notepad and we'll do dot SSH, dot SSH backslash idrsa dot pub and this will open up our notepad and we'll do control a and then we'll copy this and then you need to make sure that you go all the way to the back of the key and you at least know which username you're using so mine is herbert and we're going to enter username herbert 
and then we're going to paste the key in here and then you can choose you can change the ssh port but the default ssh port is going to be 22 and just for the sake of this video it will be it will you know it will suffice so we're just going to go over to the disks premium ssd uh, let's create and attach a new disk and this is going to be one terabyte it's a little bit on the big side let's change the size to something like 32 click ok and this name can be just the default name we'll just have to um or you can change the name to something else i'm just gonna leave it at default so okay and networking normally networking we shouldn't do anything everything should be in place it will automatically create a new virtual network uh, i'm not going to go into too much detail on what virtual networks are because that's beyond the scope of this video i'm just going to going to demonstrate how to create a virtual machine so the management is all uh default we can leave everything at default and actually we don't need to review anything over here we can just go over to review and create and it will list everything that we uh, everything that we did. We just have to run a final uh, final validation scan. Validation passed. Okay, so let's go ahead and click create. It will tell us that your deployment is underway. This will take a while. The deployment of the virtual machine is now being processed, and once it's processed, you'll be able to access that virtual machine. So it will now tell us that the deployment is complete. Now we can click go to resource and we'll see that the virtual machine is running and everything seems fine. So now we see that the Azure demo VM is uh, running. We can see that the status is running. Everything seems correct. So the operating system is correct. The size is correct. Now we'll just have to copy this over here. So we'll need to copy the public IP address over here. Just have to copy this to the clipboard open up PowerShell and now we'll type in SSH and we'll just paste that in here and it will ask us if we want to if we want to use this fingerprint we'll do yes and we'll just wait for a couple of seconds and there we go we are already in our VM so we can uh, see if everything works I go something and that works so we are definitely in the VM because we can also see if we do IP address we'll see that our internal IP address is uh, 10.0.0.4. And if we would look in, uh, in here, we'll see that our private IP address is indeed 10.0.0.4. So this was a quick overview of how to set up a virtual machine. We can exit out of here. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail on how to configure everything, but basically from here on forward, you can start using uh, the, the virtual machine just like you would use any other virtual uh, machine that you would create using something like even uh, something like uh, Hyper-V or something that you would create with VirtualBox or uh, KVM or whatever your hypervisor would be. You'll work, the, it, everything would work actually the same way as it normally does. So thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video leave a comment down below and leave a like and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye bye